What's going on? I'm Isaiah Tripp, and today on Trip Talk, I'm going to give you three tips on getting noticed by college coaches. And before things get rolling, I do want to say that working hard and working on your game and staying ready is not a part of what I'm going to give you today. That's kind of you know what you need to bring to the table, because what I'm going to give you today is a very concentrated, a uh, very efficient method on how to get noticed by college coaches and also how to maybe land a scholarship so that you can go to college for free so that your parents don't have to pay for your school. That's something that I was able to accomplish and something that I'm very proud of today. And in saying that, I have the tools that I now want to give to you. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Okay, so getting started, I want to give some background information on myself really quickly um, so that you guys know where this video is coming from. So I'm Isaiah Tripp. As I said before, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, I went to prep school for one year in L.A., and then I uh, chose to attend ACU, Abilene Christian University, for four years. I'm now a senior. I'm about to graduate in May. And over the course of my journey, I figured out three tips, three tips uh, that can uh, maximize your chance of getting a scholarship and or getting noticed by college coaches. So getting started, the first thing that you have to do, the first tip that I want to give to you in order to get noticed by college coaches is to do your research. Now you might not think that that tip is important, but really that tip is one of the most important tips that I can give you because uh, it helps with the efficiency of what you're trying to do, which is you're trying to get noticed by college coaches, so you want to be efficient when you do that. And the reason why I say do your research is because you want to find a school that best fits your needs. So before you do that, you need to write down what you want out of a college, what you feel that you need out of a college, what you want out of a basketball program, what you need out of a basketball program. And then you take that, you go do some research, go find a school that best fits you, not just a school, but find four to five schools or, or, or eight to ten schools that fits your needs and your wants out of a college, right? So you go find those schools. Again, doing research will help you because when you're reaching out to these college coaches, if you are a great fit, and let's take my situation for an example. I'm a Christian. I know everyone in the world is not necessarily a Christian, but I'm a Christian. I'm attending a Christian university. So with that being said, that's just only going to give me a better chance of landing a school that's going to give me a scholarship because it's just a fit. I'm a Christian. The school is Christian-centered. So therefore, the coach might be looking for Christian players. So if you're a Christian, maybe look up Christian schools that you can attend, uh, which again will allow you and give you a better chance at receiving a scholarship or an opportunity to attend the school that you want to. And that's all that you want. You just want that opportunity. You want to have, you want to maximize your chances. That's what it's all about. So make sure you do your research. Do not neglect doing your research because doing your research will help the process go more smoothly. It will help you be more efficient and it will ultimately give you the best chance to do what you want to do, which is to get noticed by college coaches and to also possibly get a scholarship. Now, the next tip I'm going to give to you is to simply reach out, reach out to college coaches, reach out to the schools that you did research on, remember? So, and, and by the way, all these three tips will coincide with one another, and you'll see that at the end of the video. Um, so again, keep watching and stay tuned, but the next thing you wanna do is to reach out to the schools that you've done research on and reach out to the coaches at those respective schools. Let them know your interests, let them know what you're trying to do, let them know what you're trying to accomplish, and maybe even send them a uh, highlight film of yourself, send them some footage that you can, uh, 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 send them some footage that they can look at. And uh, by the way, if you need help with that, um, obviously here, on, here at Trip Talk, I make a lot of videos daily, and I love making videos, so if you yourself are an uh, upcoming prospect in basketball or whatnot, and you feel like you need a highlight tape, and you don't know anyone that can make great highlight tapes, you know, Follow me on Instagram at TripTalk10. Uh, send me a message. I'll definitely reply. Uh, I reply to everyone that sends me a message. So send me a message and uh, let me know your vision, your plan, and, and, and hopefully I can work with you and make you a highlight film. Now, I'm only one person, and, uh, you know, if a, a hundred people send me, uh, you know, requests for a highlight tape, I'll 
you know, try to knock all 100 out uh, as fast as I can. But obviously, I'm one person. So with that being said, uh, I'll get back to you. But if I'm not able to make your highlight film, you know, I might can put you in position to find someone else that can or, uh, you know, maybe I can just do something for you that can help you out. But if I'm not able to make it because I have 10 other people waiting in line, then I apologize about that. But still do follow me on Instagram. Still do message me because you never know. But again, getting back to the point, you want to reach out. You want to email college coaches. You want to email people that you know at the school. You want to work your connections and essentially put yourself on the radar, put yourself on the map, get yourself noticed out there. So when you're emailing these college coaches, you want to kind of tell them your background. You, you want to kind of tell them where you came from, uh, you know, what are your interests, uh, what are your religious beliefs, if the school is Christian-centered or Baptist-centered or what have you. Um, you want to tell them, you know, what your plans are for college, uh, what you want to get out of the college, uh, what your GPA is, what kind of student you are. Um, you want to just kind of tell them about yourself and tell them why you're interested in the school. Um, and maybe also tell the coach that you're trying to get noticed by. Maybe e uh, tell him in the email, you know, why you feel like you're a great fit for the school. And with that, you just done, you've just done the coach's job for him pretty much. And uh, I can't tell you how uh, much that might help you out in the future. So when you're emailing these coaches, make sure you put together a detailed plan uh, that can, again, maximize your chance of getting noticed and, 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 and ultimately getting a scholarship. Now, with the highlight film, again, I can help with that, but you kind of want to send something uh, along the lines of just any type of film, you know, because, again, the coach doesn't know who you are yet, so you want to kind of put your best foot forward um, and with that being said, you might want to scrape together that highlight film before you even reach out to the coach. You know, you want to have all of that together. So you're sending it in one big bundle, one big package, and then the coach, the coach can look at it and be like, you know, who is this kid? Like, I don't, I've never seen him before. I never, do you know who this kid is? You know, the coach will start asking, asking around and, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's all you want. You just want to be on the coach's radar because you never know people sometimes, uh, and, and the college position gets thrown off the team for a variety of reasons. They get kicked off because of grades. So you always want to be ready and you always want to put your best foot forward and reach out again, essentially, to give yourself the best chance to get noticed by college coaches. Okay, so the third and last tip, and before I get into the third tip, um, at the end of this video, once I'm done with this last tip, I'm going to kind of talk about my journey from high school until my senior year in college. I'm going to give you kind of a brief summary of everything and how things went and the journey I went through and some of the leaps and hurdles I had to get through to get to where I am now. And so if you want to hear that story and see if you can kind of relate and see if you can kind of pick some nuggets out of that and, uh, you know, maybe use that to help you with your own story. That'll be at the end of this video after this last tip that I give you. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But the last tip is you've done your research, right? You've done your research. You've reached out to the schools that you feel that best fit your needs and wants out of a college. And now what is there left to do? The last thing that you can do to maximize your chance of getting noticed by college coaches is to attend their team camp, their summer camp, or attend any elite camps that you can. Coaches a lot of times go to elite camps because uh, this is where you can find a bundle of players all at once. Coaches, again, want to maximize their time as well. They're very busy. Uh, they don't have a lot of time just to go see every one person. So camps are really important in your success. You've already done your research. You've already reached out to the coach. Now, you've, uh, now you're attending the team camp, and now you can actually meet the coach and say, hey, I'm Isaiah Tripp. You know, I'm the guy that emailed you, uh, uh, my highlights and things of that nature. Uh, you know, it's great to meet you. Uh, I have a game at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Maybe you can, if you have time, you know, stop by and watch me play. And now what you've done, once you've done that, you know, you've maximized your chance the, the, the best that, you've, that you can, that you possibly can. You maximize your chances of 
getting noticed and maybe getting a scholarship because now that coach is like, wow, like who is this kid? You know, he emailed me. I like his highlights. I like his vision. Uh, he's already a, a great fit. He already, he, he's already pro- proclaimed that he's a great fit. You know, all I got to do is watch him at 3 o'clock and he's already here. Of course I'll watch him. And then that's when you have your opportunity to show the coaches, you know, what you're all about. And in that, you know, just don't be nervous. You know, go to the camps, attend the camps, and and do what you do. You know, play your best game, and that's how you get noticed. I mean, that's how you get noticed. Uh, you know, you, you've just, with those three tips, with those three steps, you're just giving yourself the best opportunity to get noticed. So use these three tips. Take advantage of the opportunity when it presents itself. Don't be nervous. Uh, thrive in it. You know, use these tips as a life lesson. Uh, Don't be discouraged because, again, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you my story and how I got to where I am now. And it's not the typical story where I came from high school straight to uh, D1 sports. I had to kind of go, you know, another route. And I'll, again, explain that at the end of this video. uh, And what you can kind of put in, uh, take out some nuggets yourself and maybe put it and incorporate it into your own story to help you even more and to give you an even more greater chance of getting again noticed by college coaches so thank you guys for tuning in uh and again stay tuned i'm gonna uh you know show my logo and show my uh outro really quickly uh just for the people that don't want to stay tuned um but again stay tuned and i have more for you guys in store thank you